Hey everybody, uh, Logan with Fowler Industries here. I want to go over some quick updates on the V9 lineup that we have. So over the past two and a half years, we've kind of quietly been making updates to these guns. When we do make updates, we don't really announce them. We just kind of include them in the gun with the mutual understanding, I hope anyways, that um, we're working towards a better finished product than the day before. So some changes that we've made, the most obvious as far as when you look at the gun is the uh, barrel. So this is our updated barrel. If you ordered a gun, I'm just gonna say it before we get too, too far into it. If you ordered a gun in I think November or December, anywhere in, around that time frame of last year, um, your gun is gonna come pretty similar to these. This is a Gen 1 V9 we're gonna use as a comparison. So barrel has been updated. Um, the most obvious change to the barrel is the hood area. Um, so here's our Gen 1 hood and here's our Gen 2. Uh, it has a big pocket inset on the right side. This one had a flat top. We changed this due to input from people that were using these a lot and getting premature barrel wear on the hood area. So this does help alleviate that. Um, the muzzle end is also extruded or uh, extended a little bit with a chamfer and a little bit of a recessed crown. We did this on our Glocks too um, from Barstow. And the reason that we did it is because, again, this is a very subtle minor um, change that we do. The reason we did that is because we want to push the muzzle end a little bit further forward to alleviate buildup on the bezel if you're running a light. Um, does it do much? No. If you're running a class where you need like 500 to 1,000 rounds, no, it's, it's not going to make a big difference. But if you carry this or use it for any duty, whatever use, um, we'd hope that you'd have this clean. And by sticking this out a little bit further, it's going to slightly prolong how fast this builds up on the bezel. So that's that's why we do this. It's not just to, to look that way. It's for a, a reason. We also changed our optic plate. So again, this is one of those things that we did um, to just make this a little cleaner and better. Um, if you look at this Gen 1, this gun is pretty much as it was assembled over two years ago. This is actually number 0001. And as you can see, this has the old uh, optic plate with a little set screw right here. So this set screw, these are all unloaded by the way, is a custom made screw just for this plate. Um, and just totally honest and open, it's not needed. We kind of realized that quickly when these started getting out there. These two screws to hold the plate down are sufficient. The main reason that we had this was for future compatibility with new optics that we you know, may or may not have been coming out at the time. We thought that by having this it would allow a, a fourth area to secure to the, the slide. And as it turns out, it's just not really needed. Um, yeah, this little hump in the back, I guess, looks kind of cool, but it's just, it's an extra step that doesn't need to be there. This screw can come out, it can, it can come loose. We don't want this bouncing out of the gun during cycling which if it's Loctited, uh, it most likely won't. But again, this just looks cleaner and it's not you're not gonna have to worry about an extra screw popping out of here. Um, we also, for our RMR SRO plates, added two more screws up here. You can't see on this obviously because the optics on. But that way, if you monkey up these two somehow, let's say you have grease in the threads or you don't torque to the right uh, spec back here, um, you have two more up front to kind of save you. Now, ideally, um, you want to do this the correct way. We're working on a video for that. And again, I appreciate everyone's patience, but we kind of added that as a fail safe. It's not needed. This will hold the plate down as long as it's secured properly and installed properly. Um, but this is the old style that we're looking at versus the new style. To me, this looks way cleaner. It's more uh, practical because you're taking out an extra screw in the gun. Um, it just makes it look cleaner. And I think we'll, we'll allow it to make assembly a little bit easier too. And you don't have to worry about losing that little screw. Um, the other thing that some people might not notice is the guide rod. So we now have a fluted guide rod um, in all the V9s. Uh, you can kind of see in the light, this one's DLC, so it's kind of difficult, but we have the front patch fluted and the back patch fluted. You can't really see it. Um, of course, it's a full dust cover gun, so you're not gonna be able to rack it back and see it immediately. But it is there. Um, we added a chamfer on the muzzle end. Again, it's kind of small, I can't really see it. That, of course, matches the chamfer on the muzzle. But more importantly, the functional reason behind that is 
if you take the if you do the, the improper removal of the guide rod, which is to remove the slide before you do any before you put the, the clip in. Let's say you pull the slide off. Um, you don't want to have the front end of the guide rod getting stuck on the inside of the reverse plug. So by adding a nice chamfer there, it just allows you to push it out forward easier. Of course, the correct way to remove this, lock it back, paper clip, and lower it. Uh, we also, this is now not a through hole on the guide rod. This is a, um, a blind hole. And what that does is uh, if you put a paper clip in here and it goes all the way through and you lower the slide, that clip can get peened up on the opposite side. What happens is when you lock it back to, take to shake it out, that edge is now peened up and you got to pry it out. Well, now, since we have a blind hole, not a through hole, it prevents that from binding on the other side and it'll just drop right out. Um, there's also a lot of changes to the back area that make this more compatible uh, long term, make it a better guide rod than our old setup. And our thumb safety is also um, standardized now, uh, quite a bit more standard, standardized. So this is consistent. Um, a lot of our, not a lot, um, pretty much all of our first V9s uh, were a little different from gun to gun. These are now pretty much all the same. Um, the, the paddles are also angled, the front and the rear, and the ejector side, the left side, if you're holding the gun out, um, is wider than the uh, extractor side. That's because we kind of tailor make these for right-handed shooters. It's preferable for a right-handed shooter to have this longer and this shorter. If you're left-handed, we can do it. It's going to cost a little more. It's going to take a little more time because it is a one-off safety at that point. But this is how all the V9s come now uh, standard. That was super wordy, so I apologize. Um, the recoil spring is also now a 12 and a half instead of a 14 pound. Makes it a little bit softer shooting. If you're gonna run plus P or really hot ammo through it, we still suggest using a 14 pound if it's for a duty carry type thing. Uh, but standard V9s now come with a 12 and a half recoil spring, 12 and a half pound recoil spring. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm sure I'm forgetting some things. Uh, I am a firing pin stop plate is now updated. We don't need it to be uh, the same height as it was before. A little bit smaller smaller and we made some updates to that as well to, to provide better ignition um, so if you do send your gen 1 v9 in for an update you're going to get a new stop plate um, as well as two new holes drilled for the rmr the hump will be machined off the screw will be gone it'll be cleaner and it'll allow you to accept the acro the 509 um, and we are working on some new plates for other optics that are coming out too uh, but this is pretty much what it'll look like when you get it updated. Um, and we strongly encourage that you do that. It It is better uh, than the, the old way. This will still work fine. It's just the natural progression of this uh, this platform for us, trying to, to work through and, and make, you know, light tweaks when they can for performance and, and longevity. So thanks for watching. I know that was super boring, but um, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at sales.figuns.com and we'll see you next time.